next we have to study how we can apply the huckel molecular orbital method to butadiene the huckel molecular orbital theory is a simple quantum mechanical model that extend our understanding of molecular orbital methods this method is generally applied to systems of any pi conjugated hydrocarbons and completely ignore the sigma orbitals the molecules must be planar so that the principal atoms contribute electrons from the their pz atomic orbitals to the common pi electron pool the pz orbital from each carbon atom participating in the pi network is the basis atomic orbital in the huckel method each center is sp2 hybridized and has one unhybridized p orbital perpendicular to the trigonal sp2 hybrid orbitals the hmo method is confined to carbon atoms only the orbitals of hydrogen atoms are not considered the linear combination of atomic orbital that is lcao method is used to construct the huckel molecular orbital wave functions with undetermined coefficient this is followed by the constructing and solving the secular equation through huckel determinant to compute the energies of molecular orbitals a computer is deployed to assist the numerical solutions of the secular equations for large molecules now we have to study how we can apply the HMO method to butadiene. We know that the butadiene molecule exists in two configurations. That is, it exists in cis configuration and also trans configuration. However, the HMO theory does not distinguish these two conformations of butadiene, that is, cis and trans form. But the hmo consider the molecule as a linear combination of the pz atomic orbitals of the four carbon atoms each carbon pz atomic orbital contribute one electron to the huckel molecular orbital pi electron system the hmo can be written as psi is equal to c1 pz1 plus c2 pz2 plus c3 pz3 plus c4 pz4 now we can label the carbon atoms as c1 c2 c3 and c4 then write the secular determinant of the butadiene molecule and which has the form h11 minus es11 h12 minus es12 h13 minus es13 h14 minus es14 then the second row then the third row and then the fourth row then by applying the assumptions of huckel molecular orbital theory that is hii that is equal to alpha hij that is equal to hj that is equal to beta sii that is equal to zero and sij that is equal to zero by ap uh, applying these assumptions the secular determinants transforms into the huckel determinant that is alpha minus e beta zero zero beta alpha minus e beta 0 0 beta alpha minus e beta 0 0 beta alpha minus e that is equal to 0 this equation can be made still simpler by dividing each element beta by beta and substitute alpha minus e divided by beta that is equal to x then the huckel determinant now becomes x 1 0 0 1 x 1 0 0 1 x 1 0 0 1 x that is equal to 0 linear algebra method can be used to solve this determinant and uh, by solving this determinant we get a polynomial equation that is x raised to 4 minus 3 x square plus 1 that is equal to 0 this indication indicates that there will be 4 roots of x and hence it has 4 energy levels to solve the equation that is to solve the equation phi put y is equal to x square therefore the equation 5 becomes y square minus 3y plus 1 that is equal to 0 it is a quadratic equation and 
its solution is y is equal to and uh, minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac that is by substituting the values of constant we get the value y is equal to 3 plus or minus root of 9 minus 4 by 4 this has this y has two roots y1 is equal to plus and uh, y2 is equal to either that is 3 plus root 5 by 4 and y2 is equal to 3 minus root 5 by 4. Therefore, the 4 roots of the equation 5 will be x is equal to plus or minus root y. That is <coughs> plus or minus 1.618 and plus or minus 0 0.618. Therefore, the four values of x are that is plus 1.618 minus 1.618 plus 0.618 and minus 0.618. When x is equal to minus 1.618, we get the lowest energy value E1 that is equal to alpha plus 1.618 beta. When x is equal to minus 0.618, we get the second energy level that is e2 is equal to alpha plus 0.618 beta when x is equal to plus 0.618 we get the next higher energy level e3 that is equal to alpha minus 0.618 beta when x, x is equal to plus 1.618 we get the highest energy level e4 that is equal to alpha minus 1.618 beta the HMO energy levels of butadiene is shown in the figure and uh, here there are 4 pi electrons and these 4 pi electrons are accommodated in the lowest 2 energy level that is from in the E1 and E2. Next we have to find out the HMO coefficient. The secular determinant equation, equation 2 uh, gives the following equation that is C1 x plus c2 that is equal to 0, c1 plus c2x plus c3 is equal to 0, c2 plus c3x plus c4 is equal to 0 and c3 plus c4x is equal to 0. By taking the first low lying molecular orbital, Huckel molecular orbital psi1 for this we have a value of x is equal to minus 1.618 by working down with this x is equal to minus 1.618 we can find that from equation 6 we can write that c2 is equal to minus c1x or c2 is equal to 1.618 c1 from equation 7 c3 is equal to c minus c1 minus c2x therefore c3 is equal to minus c1 minus c2 into minus 1.618 since c2 is equal to 1.618 c1 then c2 c3 is equal to 1.618 c1 therefore c2 is equal to c3 that is equal to 1.618 c1 also c3 that is equal to minus c4x that is equal to minus c4 into minus 1.618 that is equal to 1.618 c4 from equation 9 we can write C3 that is equal to minus C4x that is equal to 1.618 C4. Since C3 is equal to 1.618 C1, we can equate 6.181 C1 that is equal to 1.618 C4. Therefore, C1 is equal to C4. From the conditions of normalization station, that is C1 square plus C2 square plus C3 square plus C4 square that is equal to 1, then uh, write all c2 c3 and c4 in terms of c1 we can find out the value of c1 that is equal to 1 by root of 7.326 that is equal to 0.372 that is equal to c4 then from this we can find out the value of c2 that is equal to 0 0.602 which is equal to c3 therefore we can write the lowest energy wave function that is equal to psi 1 that is equal to 0.372 pz1 plus 0.602 pz2 plus 0.602 pz3 plus 
three seven two p z four. Similarly, the coefficient four psi two psi three and psi four can be find out by using the values of x is equal to minus point six four eight plus point one six four eight and uh, plus one point six one eight respectively. The four Huckel molecular orbitals of butadienes. Thus, we can write as follows. It is psi one is equal to point three seven two p z one plus point six zero two p z two plus point six zero two p z three plus point three seven two p z four psi two that is equal to point six zero two p z one plus point three seven two p z two minus point three seven two p z three minus point six zero two p z four psi three point six zero two p z one minus point three seven two p z two minus Point three seven two p z three minus point six zero two p z four. Psi four that is equal to point three seven two p z one minus point six zero two p z two plus point six zero two p z three minus point three seven two p z four. Therefore, we can construct the energy level diagram, a cell molecular orbital energy level diagram for the butadiene molecule, and The lowest energy level is psi one. Next psi two, then psi three, psi three, and psi four. And uh, here, uh, the psi one has zero node. In psi two, we can see there is one node, and psi two it has two node, and psi three it has three nodes. Here there are four electrons, and the four electrons are occupied in the first lowest two Huckel molecular orbital. That is psi one and psi two. References: Quantum chemistry, R. K. Prasad. Computational chemistry: Introduction to application of molecular quantum mechanics, zero levels. E. P. G. Parshala, a gateway to all postgraduate courses.